Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and for this video, I'm going to share some tips on using counter piece control. You've probably been in front of an opponent's box before and before you could even swing your pickaxe once, they edit out and fully box you. If you haven't experienced that before, you're probably already using some of the tips in this video, but I would suggest you still watch it because you might learn something new. You never know. The first technique is one you would use when you're on high ground. When your opponent is boxed up and you're on height, place a floor, cone, and edit those two. Once you've done that, place walls and a cone one layer down. Now you can hop into the cone and start taking your opponent's wall. This way, if they edit out, they can only piece one or two walls. Now you can get an easy shot off and you always have a way to escape whether it's from the top or from the side. When you start taking your opponent's wall, remember that you can always edit the cone under you for protection. I usually edit the top left tile to give me that right hand peek on the wall I'm taking. If you're on the same level as your opponent and not on high ground, you can take a similar yet more material efficient approach. You can place two cones at the top and bottom and a wall to the left. What I do is I edit the cone up until I want to steal the wall. As you can see, if my opponent edits out, they can only place two walls in which if they do so, I can just edit out to the left and be completely safe. Sometimes enemies edit right away, so it's always a good play to start off fully protected. Then you can edit the top right tile when the cone is edited up to give you that same right hand peek from tip number one. The third and my favorite way of establishing counter piece control is to approach the box diagonally. What you want to do is place a wall edit a window, and place cones at the top and bottom. This way, it scares your opponent off from entering that box. Taking walls diagonally can be just a little more difficult than if you are right in front of it, but it's a lot more protected. As you can see here, if I were my opponent, I wouldn't be able to place walls in the diagonal box. The only way to do so requires me to get out of my initial box and fully expose myself. What I've noticed is that whenever I do this diagonal approach, my opponent tries to create a right hand peek by editing the top right part of their wall. Even with this wall edit, if I go all the way to the back corner of my box, my opponent can't see me at all. If I go to my perspective, I have a clear shot of my opponent when they jump up. What I did was I dropped my shotgun at the spot where I would be and went to my opponent's position. As you can see, the shotgun is completely out of my vision. Here are some clips of some variants of the techniques I showed in this video. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any video ideas for me, just leave them down in the comments below and I'll check them out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.